<laughs> Every now and then when I'm looking through the toy cases, I come across a toy that I think to myself, why on earth did I buy that? What on earth was I thinking? It's what I call Woe Toy, W-O-E, what on earth? There aren't that many of them, but um, some of them are quite big. And this one here, for instance, is a Woe Toy from about 30 years ago. Why on earth did I buy this? It's got sharp edges everywhere so that um, I couldn't take it to kids' parties because they all cut their hands on it. It's quite crudely made, but I suppose it's slightly ingenious. What to do? Well, you've got to wind it up a few turns and we've got to open the gate and see what happens. Ooh, I'll try and wind it up again. There we go. How bizarre. Quite, a, quite well depicted, but very crude and, and very Course, but very refined in some ways as well. I love the idea of a little, a little light over here. But the fact remains, I've never taken it out and entertained people with it. I've just felt almost slightly, almost slightly ashamed of buying it because it's such a bizarre thing. So that's what I'm looking for. A few woe toys. There aren't many of them, thank goodness. But um, ones that I don't feel I should have bought. See what you think. Here's another one which is really bizarre. It's a basket. It's got a little handle to it as well. There's something inside here. What's inside is, well, I'm going to go back for this. It's a bit too bizarre, really. It's made from a stocking. Extraordinary, isn't it? What a face. Look at that face. Oh, goodness, it's grotesque, isn't it? And it then sits in the thing and goes up and down, I suppose. Again, I've take, I haven't taken it to kids' parties, so I'm almost ashamed for buying it because it's so bizarre. And I suppose you could just hang it there for as a decoration from 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 a door or something to entertain or horrify the guests when you're <laughs> doing it. But, uh, thank goodness you can put it away and make it disappear, which is a help, I think. <laughs> so, it's a very very bizarre idea that, and um, it's many many years old. And every time I come across it as I look into the cases. I pass it by thinking, nah, nah, not going to do that one. And here's a third one, which I felt really ought to do more things with, but um, it's broken now, so that's probably a bad idea. It's a solar-powered hamburger. You ever come across a solar-powered hamburger? Made of very light plastic. It's quite some, quite detailed, actually, but little eyes in the front give it away. There's, at, the, at the base, there's a funny little bit there which moves. It's a motor, a tiny motor inside. If I'm minded to, I suppose I could get myself a new um, solar power panel there and switch it in because that one's broken and so the connection's um, broken. But it sat, sat on the table and wobbled about and rotated, or it just wobbled about. I'm not sure, actually, to be honest. But again, something I've never taken to a party, never shown it to people, it just sits in my case, and every time I come across it, I wince slightly <laughs> and turn away. Ah, 